All right, Chuck. So what type of student would be an ideal candidate to get a step up or a, a tuba for themselves? Well, and that's, that's a difficult question to answer just because everyone kind of peaks and their, is, their interests develop at a different time. So uh, it's always going to be a student that loves playing band. Probably someone that's taking private lessons is even in ensembles outside of their school so that they can play more, whether it's a youth symphony or just putting together a brass quintet or a tuba quartet with their friends. Uh, someone that uh, practices a lot, you know, someone that has talked about maybe pursuing music as a career. That's, that's the type of student that's gonna, that's interested and is ready to possibly look at purchasing a tuba. Um, I wouldn't buy one until ninth or 10th grade because you do want them to grow to a certain point because there is a physical aspect of this. Uh, you don't wanna end up buying a horn that's either too big or too small. Um, so that's, that's part of what I would look for. And I would also ask your questions like, uh, why do you want a tuba? You know, where do you wanna go to school? Uh, who do you want to study with? And if they have answers to those questions, they've been serious enough to, to do that research. You know, that's that's a, a good sign. Good. So along with having a wonderful product line, um, Eastman has done a great job uh, surrounding themselves with people that give them feedback, whether it be school music dealers, whether it be uh, people that do the machining and stuff. But they've also been able to collect a great amount of people that we call or consider artists. Um, in Eastman's line, uh, who are some of the, the more popular, more, more amazing artists that you guys have as part of your, your lineup? Yeah, I think at Eastman we have been very lucky and I think a lot of it is because we are receptive to feedback, uh, but we have a, a really good uh, roster, if you will, of artists and even surpassing that, uh, just another uh, just the level of players that may not be on our artist roster that are also playing our instruments. Um, but these, uh, you know, includes people in some of the largest orchestras in the country. Um, you know, Chris Olka is definitely one of our artists and he plays in the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra and he's been a big supporter. Uh, Chris Hall plays the Metropolitan Opera and, you know, he's been playing on our six quarter tuba for, you know, since the beginning. Uh, we also have a lot of university professors that are playing our product. Um, Deanna Svoboda at Arizona State University uh, is one of them. Um, we have, oh man, there's so many. Steve Kunzer is playing, uh, he's at the University of Auburn, or at Auburn University, I should say. Jared Williams at uh, Eastern Carolina University. Um, Scott Sutherland, who uh, teaches at uh, the University of Redlands, but is more well known because he's on YouTube and he's the guy that puts out all of the multi-part tuba and euphonium and chibasso uh, videos. And so, you know, we have a very large spectrum of different types of player that are drawn to our product line. Um, and that's been, it's been great because you get to work with all those people. And, you know, on our euphonium side of things, we have uh, Eastman artists that are some of the top educators in the country at you know the high school and middle school levels as well uh, as all of the players uh, that are out there. But we also have on the Shire side of things, we have you know people that are playing in the Marine Band, like Hiram Diaz is playing there, um, that he's playing one of our products. And uh, it's also, it's, it's global. You know, uh, Tim Busby plays in the Melbourne Symphony and teaches over there, and he's an incredible tuba player. And Matt Van Emmerich is playing on our euphoniums. He's also over in Australia. And, uh, you know, even in China, we have, we have uh, Mickey Robolewski plays in the National Symphony Orchestra in China. So there's there's a, a large list, and it's varied. And it's still growing. Um, I even know in Florida, Stetson University, USF, UF, uh, there are a lot of professors that are around the state itself that are all on Eastman products. Um, and it's growing, like we said, every single day here and there. So. It is, it's been, uh, that's the most fun that I get in, in my product manager uh, position is to go around and work with these artists and put horns in their hands that play incredible and that they wanna play, but that are then also affordable. And, you know, especially in the tuba world. And so yeah. that's, that's a lot of fun. Definitely. Hey music man viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the link down here 
and find our newest material by clicking over here. Thanks for watching. Thank you.